but I'm going to say something on this show that is probably unpopular. I have a problem, and I think of the Asia Argento story. Mm -hmm. Believe everyone all the time and don't ask questions. And in life in general, I don't believe anything anybody tells me without asking questions. I'm a politician's daughter. Mm -hmm. I've been lied to my entire life by people. And Asia Argento ended up, it revealed that she had actually herself sexually assaulted a minor mm -hmm. and then reached an agreement where her boyfriend, Anthony Bourdain, who later committed suicide, paid off, um, the actor's name was Jimmy Bennett, $380,000. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, I just want, I always ask questions. And it's not that I don't believe women, as you said. It is, uh, it is something that brings on so much cultural shame. It's mm -hmm. something that is so horrific. I think it's one of the most horrific things you could ever think of happening to a woman. Do you believe her? But um, I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't, and it's not, and again, I know this probably makes me unpopular in this space, but I believe that something happened, and I believe, but she's been, accu she's accusing a lot of other very prominent famous men mm -hmm. of sexual assault, and I believe of rape. And again, it's like, I was scared to even come out here and say that, but I, I would prefer to be honest with the audience. No. And I would just like to open up the investigation. I would like to know more well, information. That's the thing, I don't understand what Bill de Blasio is saying, and maybe I have the law wrong, but they have changed the statute of limitations in New York. After 2006, there is no statute of limitations for first degree rape, which is what is she, she is describing. Mm -hmm. But if this happened in 1995, the statute of limitations was only five years, and you can't go backwards. And so, so there, there is a statute of limitations. Yeah. Yeah, on, on yeah, but her that claim. So but even that if you open up an investigation, he's not going to be charged. Yeah, but with so anything. why? Even if he's not charged, let the American but people. But we should change that law. The facts. We should change that law. It's not about. It's not about him being prosecuted. It's about exposing what he did. Hmm. So he's never going to get prosecuted for anything, as far as I can tell. Hmm. But like another example is Julie Swatnick, who accused Brett Kavanaugh of being part of a gang rape. <laughs> she couldn't provide credible witnesses. NBC came out saying that they she had changed her story several times. She, uh, e. Jean Carroll was on a book tour called What Do We Need Men For? And again, I don't doubt her pain. She looks like a woman who is in a lot of pain. Hmm. A lot of, of uh, horrible things have clearly happened to her. I just think I would like to know more about the investigation. Yeah. I mean, the, the prevalence of false reporting is between 2 and 10 percent. Most women do not lie about rape because people don't believe them, because they get raped over yeah, the coals. Yeah, but, Sonny, in this case, it walks like a duck situation. and it talks like a duck. <laughs> Thing before you yeah, talk. Sure, sure. I 100% came out here uh, assuming I'm going to be raked over the coals, but I would rather be honest with this audience and with all of you than sit here and lie because it's going to make my life easier in the media. Well, but I think what you said is I'm not sure. Yes. Okay. And I think that's... What do you want to